Yo guys, I'm back with a brand new video, semi-humanoid hands and some brand new shoes. Today's question will be on Canada's immigration laws compared to other countries. How is Canada different from everyone else? Now for my very dear and awesome 250 something subscribers, immigration refers to the act of permanently moving to another country. So tourists are not immigrants, since they eventually travel back home. Alright, so now we know what immigration actually means, we can bring on Canada's role in this video. Canada has two key differences in how it deals with immigration. The first is how immigrants are classified. Canadian immigrants are split into four major categories, those being economic, family, family refugee, and the humanitarian class. Economy refers to people looking to get a career in Economy refers to people looking to get a job or career in Canada. Family refers to someone coming to Canada because a close family member has sponsored them to come and live here. Note, someone visiting their family does not make them an immigrant. That's to permanently stay within Canadian borders rather than having to go back to their home country. Refugees are people who come to Canada if they are fleeing war, persecution, or some other danger in their home country. They're coming to Canada in order to have a safer and better life. Lastly, humanitarian immigrants, also known as humanitarian and compassionate immigrants, refer to people who don't fit into the other three categories, and are, but are still qualified to enter the country due to some other circumstances. For contrast, the USA's immigrant categories include citizens, conditional and permanent residents, non-immigrant status, and undocumented. You can learn what each one means on your own since I'm not explain. Secondly, Canada has a point system, one of the few countries to actually do it. The point system only applies to economic immigrants and judges them based on age, education, work capabilities, and living capabilities. Now to demonstrate this, I shall bring in some people and we'll see if they can score a 67 out of 100, which is the minimum which is the minimum passing score. All right, there we go, some people. All right, why don't you come forward? You, okay, all right, let's see. Uh, age 24, college diploma, no work experience, speaks English well, has studied in Canada before, has a part-time job already offered. Let's see, uh, you fail, what a sad, 56. Yeah, uh, you can't enter, next person. Alright, now let's see about you. 57, 17 years of work experience, speaks French well and you can also speak Spanish, PhD in medicine, has family already in Canada, full time job already offered. Okay, then, looks like you passed with an amazing 83. Last person, okay, let's check. You, you're uh, two, zero years of work experience, no education, no job, can't speak English or French, no adaptability. But you get a 99 in cuteness, so you pass with a 99. Canada values work, language, education the most, as you can see, which is what helps our candy <coughs> our country stand out from all the rest. Alright guys, that's all I've got to do. Pretty short video. And so before you leave, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Ring the notifications bell, uh, super donate, whatever else is there. Uh, alright, see ya.